Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to capture the grouping data in the JavaScript. Let's try to see it. Up to now, we have seen how we can write the regular expression with the grouping. How we can write the how we can do the grouping of the characters in the regular expression. We have seen it. Now let's try to see that how we can capture that one in the JavaScript. I will try to explain it. Up to now, what whatever the regular expressions that we have learned it, so we can use it in the JavaScript and also in all the languages we can use it. It's so not a problem. We can all the uh, in all the programming languages you can use these all the concepts whatever we have learned it. So now let's try to I will try to show you a scenario in a such a way that let's say that I am having a date format. Okay, date format. So it should be something like y y y y four digits and slash and it could be something like month and it could be date let's say that it's an example something like 2022 slash 2 slash 3 so it can be something like 2022 or 02 slash 03 something like this or otherwise anything can happen so here it, it can have a slash or hyphen or a period so anything so that means the date can be anything something like 2022 hyphen 03 hyphen 02 or otherwise 2022.2.3 so these are all the patterns we need to match it so this pattern also we need to match it and also this pattern also we need to match it so this is the date pattern we need to match it so these are the different types of date pattern we need to match let's try to see this one and also we'll try to see that how we can split this one for example if i want to get the year from this one in the javascript so if it is a pattern like this or otherwise like this or with a hyphen or with a dot means normally what we'll try to do we will try to split this one using this hyphen using this slash and we'll convert into an array so that zero will contain first part one and two will contain like this but if you have a format in a such a way that we can't know that whether it could be a slash or hyphen or a dot means so we cannot split that one so for example let's say that str dot split of something like slash i cannot use it why because it can be slash or hyphen or period operator so anything it can be so we cannot assume this one so this means writing the code it will be very much somewhat little bit difficult but in the regular expression in the javascript using the grouping so we can do it very easily so now i will try to show you this scenario let's try to understand so here we are having the date something like 2022 slash 02 slash 03 okay anything year month and date now let's try to create a regular expression for this one first i want to match this thing or otherwise first what i need to do so it should be a starting and it should be ending so now what i can do so starting means we can i can use this it's a carrot and end sorry not here use here something like carrot and a dollar symbol now in between this one what i need to write so first i need to write the year form year thing so first i can group it here okay so now i can write here slash digit sorry slash digit which should be repeated four times okay then afterwards i can have like this so it could be a slash or dot uh, hyphen dot or something like that. and i can write another grouping slash d which should be repeated one to two times so it can be a one or two now here again i can write something like the delimiter it could be a hyphen slash or dot using the character set now here again another one i can have something like slash d and it should be of something like one comma two. sorry one one comma two and now if i try to write immediately so now this match is going to find it so if i try to write Two like this also it will try to find it so here if i try to write this one will not match why because exactly you need to have four characters and here if you try to mention with a hyphen also it will match it okay with a period operator also it will try to match it so this is how we will be writing a regular expression so now if in between this one if you have any other things means it will not match so like this so this is how we will be using so why because we can also you can say that i can also use the boundary operator so why can't sir uh, you can use this boundary operator 
so why can't we use this one this one also matches now if i try to use anything it will not match you can see okay so here the boundary operator means for example if i try to use the star now it is matching right so boundary operator so boundary meta character when we use so when we it should be a non-word character okay so here the word characters means nothing but a to z a to z small capital a to z small a to z 0 to 9 and also an underscore so that is the reason i am trying to use so it should start with this one using the caret and it should end with a dollar so what are the concepts that we have learned up to now so i have tried to write a regular expression using this one so now it is very easy right so if you try to learn these all the concepts which i have which i am explaining from first onwards then it will be very easy for us to write a regular expression for the date format so it's looking very easily why because so we have we have we have implemented this one using the concepts what we have learned up to now we have used this slash d we have used it if you try to use slash d means this will not work for example if you try to use something like this it will work why because so this is the negation of the digit so now if i try to use this slash d now it will be using so these are the things now you will be having in your in your fingertips the concepts all so i am trying to write slash digit which should be repeated four times so now it is repeated and here i am using the delimiter it can be a hyphen slash or dot and now i am using the slash d which should be minimum of one or maximum of two so that means it can be a zero two or two okay and also here you will be having slash d and also the specifying the count so now it should be end like this so this is the thing now let's try to implement the same regular expression in our javascript and i will try to show how we can get this year month and a date in a variables i will try to show it so let's go to the inspect element here itself i will try to go to the inspect element here itself now let's say that i am having a regular expression hope you are able to see my screen okay so here i am having a regular expression so i am mentioning with the so this is our regular expression okay so if you try to see here this is our regular expression what we have so now i am having a date format something like 2022-03-04 something like whatever the date now let's try to see the format for example let's say that rejects dot exec if we try to use this exec and if i try to pass the data and if we try to see here see the first one is the matching string which i am trying to find it and here whatever the groups you are trying to use so here the first one group and the second group and the third group whatever the groups you are trying to use it so here it is split into the group so that you are getting in the first part year and the second is the month and third one is the date so like this you are able to get it so now what i can do here so here the date will be the year will be something like let's say that data is equal to rejects dot exec of date okay i am using like this now data of one will be an year so now here i am i can easily use data of one will be an year data of two will be a month and data of three will be an date so without using the split command so without using the split method in the javascript so we are able to split the date so which is present in any format so for example so it can be something like delimiter you can have slash or hyphen or dot so if you want to use the split in the javascript it will be a little bit diff difficult but here with using hyphen dot or slash anything so we are able to split the year month and date very easily using the regular expression exec exit method in the javascript so this is what i want to try to explain you in the regular expression how we can split the grouping in the javascript so how we can use the grouping in the javascript and we can find the grouping elements so this is how we will be trying to do hope you understood about this grouping of the elements and how we can write the formatting of the date so this one grouping the date and finding the regular expression of the date hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you